Hey guys, welcome to Minnesota Twins Franchise. This is episode number 64, and today we take on the Baltimore Orioles from Target Field. It's the 28th game of the 2017 season. The Twins come into this one at 13 and 14, the O's at 11 and 15. Might say the O's are underachieving, the Twins may be overachieving a little bit. Alex Meyer on the hill, his opponent will be Chris Tillman. In the first inning, Brian Dozier at the plate. On a 3-2 count, Dozier takes ball four on the cut fastball. Runner moves to second, so you got runners at first and second with Joe Maurer at the plate, batting 337 with four home runs. Maurer lines it to the right side on the ground. Easy play there at second, but that moves the runners into scoring position at second and third for Miguel Sano, who leads the Twins with eight home runs. Sano down the third base line. It gets over the corner of the bag. And into left field. Sano drives in two. He's heading for second. Here comes the play at second, and he is out easily. And Miguel Sano is hurt. A serious ankle injury, possibly even season ending. We'll get word on that after the game. Fourth inning now. Caleb Joseph at the plate. Runners on first and second with two outs. Here's Alex Myers' delivery. My, er, uh, Joseph grounds it up the middle. Runner rounding third. Here comes the throw from Buxton in center, and it's not going to be in time. The O's are on the board. Caleb Joseph with the RBI single, and it's 2-1 in favor of the Twins midway through the fourth. Luis Valbuena now in the bottom of inning number four. Steps to the plate with a runner on second and one out. Still facing Tillman, and Valbuena lines it into center field. That one will get down. Dexter Fowler has a hard time playing it. Run comes in to score, and Valbuena is into second with a double. Or a single and an error. I'm not sure what they called there, but... At the end of four, the Twins lead 3-1. to one. We go to the sixth. Top of the sixth inning, the delivery from Alex Meyer, line drive. Into the outfield, misplayed there by Danny Santana. Still trying to get used to uh, the differences in player movement in this game. So the Orioles with another run. A runner on third now. Here's the ground ball to short. Played there by, I believe it's uh, Jorge Polanco. Or Eduardo Nunez. It is Eduardo Nunez. Nunez backhands it going into the hole. Jump throw to first. He gets him. It's 3-2 to two in the middle of six. We go to the top of the seventh inning now. Dexter Fowler at the plate. He's struggling so far this year, batting 204 in the leadoff spot. Facing Jim Johnson. He grounds it to the right side. Brian Dozier makes the play from the seat of his pants. Throws Fowler out at first. Nice play there for Brian Dozier. Underrated defensive second baseman for the Minnesota Twins. Obviously has a big bat, but his defense is quite good as well. Sean Marshall enters for the Twins to face Chris Davis. Marshall, runner going, and a stolen base there for Adam Jones. So a runner on second with two outs. Here's the full count pitch from Marshall, and he gets him looking. Chris Davis will have to sit down. Marshall gets out of the inning with the Twins lead intact. In the middle of seven, it's Minnesota three, Baltimore two. We go to the eighth now. Brian Dozier batting 262 on the season with a runner on first. Score still three to two, and Dozier drives it to left field. Back at the track at the wall, catch is made. And the Twins hold on to win this one three to two. Winning pitcher is Alex Meyer, the loser Chris Tillman. Mark Trumbo goes two for four for the Orioles. Miguel Sano one for one with a two RBI double before leaving the game with the injury. Byung-Ho Park one for three. Luis Valbuena one for three. Jake McGee gets the save. The Twins improved to 14 and 14. They are fourth place in the American League Central Division. And the Baltimore Orioles are 11 and 16. They are also in fourth place in their respective division, the American League East. Quick look at the Orioles roster as we didn't get to that before the previous game. Dexter Fowler in center, Adam Jones in left, Chris Davis at first, Manny Machado at third, Mark Trumbo the right fielder, Hyunsu Kim the DH, Zach Cozart at short, Caleb Joseph behind the plate, and Jonathan Scope the second baseman. On the bench for Baltimore, Tommy Listella, utility guy, Juan Ligaris in center field, Daniel Descalso also a utility guy, and Tuffy Gosowich the backup catcher. Pitching staff for the Orioles, Kevin Gossman, Chris Tillman, this is the starting rotation. Giovanni Gallardo, the third starter, starter Ubaldo Jimenez, and Odrizaner de Spain. Out in the pen, Dylan Bundy and Mike Wright make up the long relievers. The middle relief is Andy Oliver and Brad Brock, as well as Michael Givens. 
Setup guy is Darren O'Day, and the closer, everybody knows, one of the best in the business, Zach Britton. On the DL is uh, Joey Rickard. As you take a quick look at Miguel Sano, he's been placed on the 60-day disabled list. He will be out for about five months, probably the remainder of this season, with a uh, ankle injury, a broken ankle for Miguel Sano. Max Kepler has been recalled from AAA Rochester to take his spot on the roster. So far this season, Kepler only has 14 at-bats with the big league club. Game number 29, Irvin Santana making his sixth start of the season, and he will face Giovanni Gallardo for the Orioles, who has a 1.27 ERA. Adam Jones at the plate now. He is struggling as well, batting 190, facing Irvin Santana here with nobody on. He drives it to right field. That ball is back at the track, and it is going to be off the wall, played out there by Eddie Rosario in right, and Jones will stride in to second with a double. Brings up Mark Trumbo. He's got a five-game hitting streak with runners on the corners and two outs. A full count to Trumbo here in the first inning. And Trumbo swings and misses at the changeup from Irvin Santana. And the Twins get out of the jam in the first. We move on to the fourth inning. Luis Valbuena at the plate with nobody on and two outs. Here comes the pitch from Giovanni Gallardo. And it is a drive into right field way back. Looking up, it is way out of here. A home run for Luis Valbuena. A solo home run. And it will be interesting to see where the power comes from in this lineup without Miguel Sano for the remainder of the season. How will the Twins make up for that? It looks like Luis Valbuena trying his best to do the part so far in this one. On to the sixth inning. Runners on first and second of Valbuena. Tees off another one. Deep to right field. That one's even deeper than the last one, and that is way up there into the upper deck. Luis Valbuena, that's his 100th career home run. And Valbuena's shot there goes 456 feet. It is the longest home run at target field so far this year. The next longest was 455 feet off the bat of Miguel Sano. Breaking ball that Luis Valbuena just absolutely unleashed on. Clear up into the stands in the upper deck. Four to nothing Twins at the end of six. Seventh inning now. Irvin Santana still on the hill for the Twins. He's pitching the shutout. With a 1-2 count and one out facing, I believe it's uh, Manny Machado. And Manny Machado swings and misses as Irvin Santana's dealing in this one. The middle of seven, the Twins still lead four to nothing. Only two hits given up by Santana to this point. Here's Joe Maurer at the plate now. Maurer with the runner on second and one out, a one-two count. And Maurer drives it to left field. That one's going back. It's carrying deep at the wall. It, that is out of here. Jones can't do anything about it. A two-run home run for Joe Maurer, his fifth of the season. At the end of the eighth, the Twins hold a 6 to nothing lead as we head to the ninth. Kevin Segrist in for the Twins in relief of Irvin Santana. He's facing Chris Davis with two outs, and Chris Davis doesn't offer. The Twins win this one. It's a shutout, 6 to nothing. In favor of Minnesota, the Twins over 500 at 15 and 14. The Orioles fall to 11 and 17. Eddie Rosario won, Rosario won for three with a double. Pair of home runs for Luis Valbuena, a home run for Joe Maurer. Giovanni Gallardo tagged with the loss. Irvin Santana gets the win. Game number 30 for the Twins. Last game of this three-game series against the Orioles at Target Field. Tyler Duffy on the hill. He has taken the spot in the rotation with Tyler Chatwood being sent down to AAA. Ubaldo Jimenez will be his opponent in this one. First inning, Adam Jones at the plate. Runner on third, and nobody out. Delivery from Duffy. Jones drives it to third. It one-hops the third baseman, Valbuena. He makes the play over to the first, but the run comes in to score. That's Dexter Fowler scoring the run. And Adam Jones with a fielder's choice RBI. It's one to nothing midway through the first. Orioles had taken the lead. Fast forward to the sixth inning now. Kepler at the plate. And Danny Santana at first. Orioles paying attention to Santana. Here's the pitch. Santana goes. And the throw is way late. Jimenez delivery very slow. Santana steals the bag easily. 
So a runner on second. Kepler still at the plate with full count. Here is the pitch from Ubaldo Jimenez. And Kepler swings and misses at the slider. First out of the inning. Sorry, that was Mike Zanino, not Kepler. This one's Kepler. Max Kepler now at the plate. I knew he was up sometime. And Kepler with a little dribbler out in front of the plate moves the runner over to third, but there's two outs in the inning now. So it's going to be up to Byron Buxton to try to get that tying run home. The O's still lead at one to nothing. Buxton drives one too short where it is caught there by Cozart. At the end of the sixth, it's still one to nothing Orioles as they get out of that jam. Seventh inning now, though, Joe Maurer comes to the plate with nobody on, one out. An 0-2 count to Maurer. Jimenez still on the mound, and Maurer laces it into left field for a base hit. Jimenez now with one out, Maurer on first, and a 3-0 count to Brian Dozier. Does Dozier have the green light here on the 3-0 count? This is the 78th pitch of the game for Ubaldo Jimenez. And it is low. Dozier with the free pass will go to first. Joe Maurer will head to second. And the Twins might have a little something cooking here in the seventh. Here is Luis Valbuena. Had a huge game yesterday in the 6 to nothing win. Valbuena drives it deep to right field. That one is back at the track, looking up, and it settles into the glove of the right fielder out there. I do not remember who the right fielder is. I'm sorry, guys. Maurer moves on to third. Eddie Rosario at the plate now. He is 0 for 2. On the day, Rosario fouls the first one off down the left field line. Second pitch. Swing and a miss by Eddie Rosario. So the tying run is over there at third. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Rosario drives it off the leg of Ubaldo Jimenez. He's just got to beat out the throw to first. He does. Run comes in to score. That's Joe Maurer. So Rosario with the RBI single off the leg of Jimenez brings up Danny Santana. Santana has struggled mightily this year. But Santana drives this one into right field. It stays up, but gets down on one hop. Dexter Fowler has a run coming around third. And it's Brian Dozier. He'll come in to score easily. The Twins win this one late, 2-1 to one over the Orioles. They sweep the series three games to none, improving to 16-14. and 14. The O's fall to 11-18. and 18. Stay tuned for the next episode as we take on the Kansas City Royals and close out the homestand here in the middle of the month of May. And as always, if you enjoy the video, please share, like, subscribe, do all those things. And uh, it's much appreciated here. And thanks again for watching our Minnesota Twins franchise. Again, Royals and Twins in the next episode.